Hi beauties, it's Brittany Alyssa. It's bright and early and I came to you guys with the video that I promised yesterday with the Pat McGrath's Dark Star number no. 6 um, in ultraviolet. If you guys want to see how I created this galaxy starry um, extraterrestrial look, stay tuned for the video. Good morning beauty. So as promised, I'm coming to you guys with my extraterrestrial spacey um, galaxy um, eyeshadow look that I am creating with the Pat McGrath um, Dark Star number no. 6. And as you guys can see, this eye is already done. I wanted to get a feel of what I was going to do before I came on camera and did it for you guys. So this is bare. I don't have a highlight. I don't have any eyelashes on. But this side is really, really, really good. Um, I also used her Stroll White, the one that I was so surprised by yesterday that came baby blue. I used it to highlight my clavicles. <laughs> so jumping right into this video, I don't want to make you guys wait any further. I have everything that I'm going to be needing to create this. I also did not um, do away with the sequence. I figured why not use it? And let's jump right into it. My soft ochre to base my lid because it did give you a warning that you should prime your lid before getting started. So I'm going to follow those instructions. So let's create this look. blend all of this out I went in with my astro white pigment and swirled it around in there and I blended the whole area out with the pigment
Okay, so this eye is pretty much complete. What I am going to do differently that I didn't do on this eye, I'm going to apply my false lash before I put on the eye um, gel because this eyelash gave me a really difficult time at applying once I had already put in on put on the eyelash gel, um, eyeshadow gel. So I'm going to apply my falsy first, then I will apply some gel to the lid, and it brings the look all together. Now I'm gonna go in there with my Cyber Clear Eye Gel, eye gloss, and I'm just going to take a little bit from the cap with my ring finger, and I'm just going to sweep it across my lid. Part of the eye. So now, before I add my little beading to my face. I am going to highlight with my Tarte Shape Tape just a tad, not too much. Who needs baked when you got all this extraterrestrial going on? So I just used a little bit of my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I just pretty much just dabbed it into my eye and just kept dabbing until there was no more excess. My NARS in New Guinea and I took the powder, I did not contour deeply. I just took this powder right here, the lightest of the two, and I just lightly gave my face a contour, like really, really light. And then I just went on the forehead a little bit. Next, I just dusted away any extra powder that may have remained. And now the really really fun part i started adding my sequence took the eyelid base and i took my the back of my tweezer and i just put some on my lap and i just dabbed a little with my tweezer and i went ahead and i made four dots on my forehead And I just took my tweezer and I just applied one to each of those dots. Took three and I just went right here where my line would be or is going to be. same brush that I used to apply the pigment to the lid and I drew a small line as if it was were a wing but it's just a line let's 
blend that off some. And then underneath my lower lash line, I did the same thing and I just went in with the color. Astro White Pigment. And again, this look is very extra, so go hard with your highlight. Now for my lips, I am going to be going in with that same brush that I went in with my lids and I'm going to be taking the Pat McGrath Labs Clear Vinyl Gloss and I'm going to apply it to my lips and then I'm going to apply the blue. literally everywhere but that pretty much ties in my look let me make sure I'm sitting nice and high so that you guys can get a good look maybe I need some more glitter here I don't know what do you guys think and again this is not an everyday look so you cannot wear this every single day, but I wanted to create something very blue and like beautiful for this. And what do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, little video tutorial of me creating a nice dark star galaxy extraterrestrial look. And for any information on the products used, it will be down below. Again, um, go to Pat McGrath's website. It's available. It won't be available in Sephora until the 22nd of April. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And for more videos like this, tutorials, leave a comment down below. If you guys want me to try out new products, leave a comment down below. And I hope you guys really enjoy this extraterrestrial look. Bye, beauties.